I'm in way too close. At this cute <laughs> face. Babe, I don't want to play catch all the bunnies again. Oh, you just want to eat them? They're running away. Oh, I could just eat them alive. Hey, babe, that, that, well, hey, look. Got to get it. It's doing that thing it does when it, there, there, there it goes. It's gone. Come here. Hey, you. Get your little butt. Come here. Come here, you. Hey, come here. They got wiggly little butts. Come on now. Wiggle butt. You need to go back in your little hole. I think we're missing one. It went that away. Yeah, you get in there. You get back over here. Nope. Oh, that one ran away too. Alright. Alright, you got that? Yeah, we're, we're on. He is, on. Let him go. He is, is a vicious predator. Vicious predator. <laughs> I want to keep him. Watch keep your them. fingers. You don't want to lose one. I want to keep him. So much for catching a cat. Uh, do you want to go? Or do you want to stay in a cage for your whole life and not come well, out? He's having trouble figuring this out, I guess. He latches on pretty good. There you go. Hey, baby. Good one, buddy. Bye, See ya. It was uh, cool. Bye. Meeting you. And yep. Adios. He, he went to the barn. Yep. He's in the barn. Look at well, that. In the barn. Like I said, uh, possums will eat. <sighs> uh, <laughs> they they carry lice. They carry a lot of things. Fleas is one of them, but lice is another one. Uh, it goes with any wild creature in the wild you know and but they uh, eat ticks they do eat ticks they eat bugs uh they will eat squirrels occasionally it depends on how hungry they are uh but they they love cat food and i'm trying to catch a fur fruit cat and vegetables and <laughs> it vegetables. thought the cat food was delicious so it's had a great dinner and now it's full and it has a fat <laughs> belly and going back out to the woods the yeah. end the end truck was stolen i'm doing uh, bacon bit frowny yeah. face yeah i see that bacon bit frowny face so for my yeah, that looks Bis good. Biscuits and gravy. If any of you find my truck, please call the authorities or I will continue to make bacon bit frowny face biscuits. Now my son was going to throw this away and I've got a little project to help get my mind off uh, the situations at hand. And I'll give you guys a further update on what's going on. With all that, but for now, let's let's just focus on something else. All right, <laughs> I've got another bug out bag project coming up, and I want to make uh, something unique just because I just want to make it. And it's a magnifying glass. My my son was going to throw it away; it had broken off the handle, and the plastic casing was cracked. And this come out of it is glass, and it's a good quality magnifying glass and I, I want to turn it into something else so we're going to do that today i'm just going to use some scrap pieces of leather i was going through some of them you know i got little edges cut off and stuff and you can use any of these <coughs> now this one is i think seven ounce or something eight ounce maybe and it's just a bit too thick but it's a piece that i cut it was wrong and i ended up throwing it in my pile and some of these are about six six ounce or five ounce something like that it's not too bad so we got this piece it looked like the right one and i just need to draw an outline for it to stay in the right spot and we'll draw that real quick people are always taking my pens that's why i always have to stop <laughs> i always have to stop the video i'm like uh where's my pen at <laughs> This is one that I made up a while back. So I want to have, uh, you might not be able to see what I'm, I want to have enough edge because I got to go off this, what's left on this side here and just anything extra is fine because you're just going to be 
uh, sanding the edge anyways to smooth it out. I thought this would be pretty cool. I like making weird stuff like this because it's just very unique and you can carry it around with you. And, you know, I have to get the base of what it the curves should be because I need to know what those are and then I have to have a connecting point up here so when I fold it and I'd leave that crack there's a crack in this it's got like a split down here I want to leave that and stitch it in because I think it'd look cool all right so you get you get that much done and like I said, if it's oblong or weird, it's all right. You're just going to cut all that off anyways. So it doesn't really matter if it's got some oblong stuff going on. And you just have to cut a decent arch into it. Now some of you might have some tools. I know I've got some tools that are, that cut arches, but... Most times your best arches like that are done by hand anyway. So it's best to not even waste your time. And just cut, cut out the notch where you're gonna need that loop to go. Just cut it out like that. Come up. I know it's hard to cut in this angle because you're, but you can't cut the other side because then you're not gonna know where your line is. Just sort of cut it like this and if you've got some um, old ganky you know um, slings or something laying around you could use that for what I'm doing and what you're gonna do next well first things first I want to cut that I meant to say janky did I say janky I'm not sure I did janky yeah, I'll give you guys an update. I know a lot of you are like, hmm, what's going on, man? But, uh, I, until I have more information, I'd rather not share things like that. Because I'm not going to get in a hurry. Trust me, when, uh, when it gets to that point, <laughs> I am going to be sharing, all right. I'm going to be sharing, sharing, sharing. I'm going to be telling all. Because someone's going to need to know for future reference. And then we're going to make a whole discussion topic about BOLs and, and it's gone. <laughs> what do you do now? <laughs> what is your next step? <laughs> Oh, man, I know a lot of you are like, oh, man, kill them. They picked the wrong guy. Yeah, but it's, it's okay, guys. Yeah. Um, it, some of you out there are like, well, you know, it, we're getting into conversations about it. And I'm a little bit too hot to have a conversation with right now. Yeah. You know what I mean. I know somebody knows what I mean. All right. So, if I get a little snippy with anyone in the future, it's not personal. It's, I'm just a little upset. All right. Here's this. Boom. And, oh yeah, that's what I was going to look for. I need a, a, a thingamabob. Y'all know what a thingamabob is, right? <laughs> This is a thingamabob. <laughs> and I don't know. Can I get that in <laughs> I did all this work and I don't even know if I can get this in here. Let's see if I can get in there. I came this far, right? Let's see. Can BA do it? Can he get that in there? Let's see. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. All right. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. <laughs> all right. It's in there. Okay. That's the thingamabob. Okay. 
That's what I meant. When I said you got some old janky slings laying around or something, use one of these things, you know, a D ring. All right, so you got this much done. <laughs> now you've got to figure out well, just where does the thing go? Because you got to cut out the center part, right? So you can sit that in there without it falling out. So now you got to figure out how much material you should probably leave, which is quite a bit. And now I just need to determine if I got one of these cutting things. Now this would make my life a lot easier now, wouldn't it? Be careful not to scratch anything. But you could do this real easy. If you've got these circle cutouts, like I was telling you all earlier, if you guys have circle cutouts, your life will be a lot easier with doing this stuff. All right, so you do a cut like this. Oh, where's my hammer? Let's see. It's going to get loud. Hang on. All right. How far did I get in that? I should have went all the way through. Yep. See how it does that? I like that. Uh, good investment. Definitely getting these hook cutouts like that. Now, if I can just cut the rest of it the same way. And you just connect it together. Good luck. <laughs> With a little luck. Hang on. Hold that together. <laughs> I'll start cutting all over the place. Oh, man, it's crooked. I'm almost like, B.A., that's crooked. What are you doing? Sometimes I damage it. I got to replace this one soon anyway. I don't really care. It's getting to that point now where I gotta replace that. Now that will go right in the center. And now the next portion of this, I'm gonna have to uh, seal. But I want to before I get that far. Hang on, before I get that far, I want to take this out and I want to go ahead and dye it now. And then I want to polish this because that black paint underneath there is a uh, brass underneath that is brass so i want to get that polished so we'll i'm just going to clean that off with a brush and this item here can go ahead and get a coat put on it let's just go ahead and get in here and we'll let this dry it just needs some dye and then it needs to dry out before I can uh, you can use leather adhesive you can use Gorilla Glue it doesn't matter I mean uh, people use it for styling their hair these days so but you can use uh, Gorilla Glue as well I use it for a lot of projects because uh, a lot of these uh, you want them to stay together longer and as long as you don't saturate it in Gorilla Glue it won't cause damages to the leather if you put too much <laughs> you could ruin your project so just remember that I go ahead and do the edges of these things uh. Funny. Wife got tired of me cutting the grass slow, but uh, <laughs> see, uh, well, I, I threw a belt on the riding mower. Y'all have that problem, right? I was talking to a guy from church the other day, and he's like, uh, he's like, "Bia, how you how you mow all that?" And I'm like, "Well, well, here's the thing, you know, when we couldn't afford to get anything bigger, we just went with a riding mower, and it took me about." five days to cut all of it probably and uh the wife felt sorry for me this year and uh she took me to uh, uh buy a tractor and we got the tractor we have front loader and all that stuff you know the whole nine yards you got to have all of it or you, you know you can't build ponds and stuff right but uh probably probably should do a little video about that because it has changed my life forever and now I can uh, I can cut my lawn in three hours, 
instead of cutting, you know, with a rod mower, a rod mower used to take me, and dude, the stuff I was doing the other day was hilarious. Uh, I don't know how I lived without a front loader all these years. It's amazing. It's so crazy how much you got. If you got land that looks useless, dude, I'm telling you, man. Yeah, and you got. Yeah. There we go. That looks good. And then now I need to let that set for a little bit. I didn't get any. Oh, dang it. Got some on my hand. But anyway, I almost made it through the project without getting anything on my hand. There's that. I know it looks like a mask, right? <laughs> There you go. Go put that on. I'm wearing a mask. Where am I? I saw a sign the other day of a deer on the side of the road. It was dead. And it had a sign that says, uh, COVID. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> oh, yeah, we died. Oh, boy. It's, that, obviously, that deer was killed by a truck or something. But anyways, it's just funny. Rednecks around here. We're pretty silly. Okay. I got this. Got to polish that. Hang on. I take it back. It looked like brass. <laughs> it's not brass. It's something else. It's steel or something. I was looking. I'm out of those particular rings. Looks like all I have is that. And I usually keep a bag of parts in my collection for things like this. I don't know what I did with them. Everything's just slipping and tripping, I guess. Hey, that's kind of cool. And you could use one of these. And that'd be kind of neat, but then you're, you know what I mean? Then it gets kind of temporary. I had a big bag of those things. I'm not sure where they are. There's those. There's those. Oh, there they are. There we go. Ah, there we go. A big bag of these things. These are kind of cool. And you can take off. There we go. Is that the right one? That's really close. I think that'd be cooler. Let's see. Oh, every time I do this stuff, I start coming. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that either. Yeah, I think that looks cool. Well, that one seems to be the one right there. That seems to be it. Now, what you got to do now is get some pliers and take all that crap off of it. Yeah, just like that. Now, you can slip that in there. That'll look better than that D-ring. Said I couldn't use a D-ring. I was actually pretty happy I found a D-ring. Now I'm upset that I can't use it. But now I'm happy because now I have something else. All right, there's that thing. Now I just have to set in my mirror real quick. And when you get it glued in place, you're gonna let it set. And then you'll have to work out any kind of weird indentions and stuff. And then you gotta, yeah, we'll go to the next step after this. All right, hang tight. You're just gonna place your holes, get your holes drilled out and once you get all your holes, you can stitch. I think it's kind of funny making a magnifying glass when it was in <laughs> Lord of the Flies. What all happened in that? <laughs> if you've ever watched Lord of the Flies and you know that everyone fought for the glasses and they didn't care uh, that the individual was their friend. Or anything they all fought for it I guess I'm kind of comparing this to my situation where my truck gets stolen and it happens to be one of those vehicles that everybody wants and if you want to see I'll try and um, I'll get the link to the video and I'll put it in the drop down and if you want to watch that video and then share it with your friends and tell them that it's uh, stolen and I need help finding it and um i know a lot of folks that had just had suggested that i raise money or something to 
replace the truck and stuff like that. And I, uh, like I, like I said, that uh, that's not good. It's, that's taking advantage of people and stuff like that. I'd, I'd rather not. Uh, that's what I said. And people can take advantage of situations like that and do <laughs> false GoFundMe accounts to support me, but take the money for themselves. So just. It's kind of hard to do stuff like that. If you if you guys really want to support, go to Patreon. Patreon will really support uh, the channel instead of doing the uh, whatever else, you know. Or buy shirts or something, you know, Teespring. That definitely helps. I'm not trying to sound like a, uh, what is it? <laughs> uh, you know, oh, feel sorry for me. That's That's not the case at all. I don't do that. I'm not that kind of guy. It's just a truck. And so people, you would be amazed how many people were like, what do you mean it's just a truck? How can you say that? It's like, well, it's, you know, it, uh, you know, it falls back to uh, keeping your treasures in heaven kind of thing, you know, and uh, <clears throat> that stuff happens. And the most important part of everything in my life is that I have a healthy family and and I have three healthy kids and, it's, and a beautiful wife. And that's the most important parts. And people don't, there's a lot of people that's like, well, I, you know, yeah, it's, you know, it's very disappointing. And it definitely does. Uh, when you have something big stolen from you like that, it's like, it's like one of those things. Will you hang on a minute, crazy pants? <laughs> My kids. They're all trying to attack me now. Yeah, anyways, like I was saying, when you have something like that taken from you, it's like, uh, you don't feel vulnerable. Like, uh, if it was stolen from my house, it'd be a different story, right? You know, you'd think somebody cased the place out. And, but uh, in this situation, it's not like that. So you're kind of like, uh, it doesn't, it doesn't hit you the same. Because you'd feel insecure if it if it happened at your home, right? If it happened at your home, you know, you'd be like, whoa, whoa. You know, someone must have cased a joint and, you know, do all this stuff. But it didn't happen that there, so. But anyways. But yeah, it's, like I said, it, we'll move on. We're already looking at uh, other vehicles. I don't think the wife wants to get anything older this time because they're so easy to steal. And there's a spree of uh, vehicle thefts going on right now. And we really don't want to mess with another older vehicle that's going to get uh, the column broken or something. and Or have a uh, uh, or have one of those uh, rollbacks. You know, professionals stealing cars with a rollback. You know, it's whatever the case is, we just really don't want to mess with it anymore. We're at that stage now where we've got we've got what we need, and uh, bugging out was really a last resort for us. And where you go, and it still goes back to I'm not trying to offend anyone, but where do you where do you bug out to when you're in a situation where uh, not too many places left to bug out to? To be honest, even if you had a location in the hills, it, uh, the hills still have eyes, and it's really hard to do stuff like that. And I've, I've had friends, uh, you know, they work in intelligence and all kinds of weird stuff. But, uh, you know, they even say, like, you know, people are still going to see. There's still going to be someone who wanders onto you. It doesn't matter where you go. There's really nowhere to hide from people. And you can try, but there's always going to be someone there. And there's always someone, someplace, somewhere to hide a fool or to hide a vehicle or to hide stuff you know you know i drive past barns all the time it's made me to that point where i'm like i'm looking in a, you know i'm driving past people's barns looking inside them as i drive by and it's like is it in there is it in there is it in there i wonder if it's in there i wonder if it's in there so now you you're left with that right and that's what i'm going through right now uh, i know a lot of folks probably don't get it but i don't know all right, so you get it stitched. <laughs> Change subject. You get it stitched, and then you're going to close it up. You're just going to run through 
a section of the back bam and that should be enough and then we'll just cut off the excess here i hate i hate to have worn these scissors out i'm gonna have to get some new ones i've just about used them for everything there's that up up and i gotta get my torch i just used couch material for the snake part uh should it be a different tone i don't know i think i think this is a good tone i'm just gonna cut this off it's got a little piece i could see it in the corner of my eye all right yeah wish me luck on this one now this is alcohol based you don't want to go using this unless you have a pretty good plan let's just do it like that and make sure you have a pretty good plan when you do this and my plan it might not be so good <laughs> but this is what i'm gonna do I'm just gonna soak up the excess as it comes out Hopefully it doesn't pop loose and that'll keep all that excess from flying all over the place when it comes out. There we go. Yeah, look at that. I got just a little bit on my thumb. But yeah, alcohol base, it'll stay on your fingers for a few days. So you don't want to, if you got gloves, wear them. If you don't have gloves, uh, try not to touch it. I just need to let that dry out for a sec. You can really see the importance of this just by, you see the rings it's making there. You just find that zero and instantly. So if you had Twix, you see the smoke coming off of that? So instantly, if you had some wood, of course it's going to go up much easier. And you'd have yourself a fire in no time. See that? So I don't even need to <laughs> I don't need to prove anymore. I mean it's just that simple. Uh, it's really good to have one of these. And then the lanyard to put the lanyard on. Uh, I just did this from uh, couch material or um, purse material. You can find that stuff all over the place. You just take this guy. If you want it rough side out or uh, you know like this just fold it fold it in bring it up and then try to pull one in at a time that way you keep it neat instead of just slopping it on and the other thing that's cool about having the leather around the leather encased magnifying glass is that if you set it down it's not going to get scratched up or anything weird especially if you're out in the woods and you're near some rocks and stuff it'll keep everything from kind of like it the other way but it's fine something like that looks kind of cool i like it like that it's kind of neat and then i can take this in here slide this down bring it together and then just lash it just like that give it a yank in both hands and then you're pretty much done and you're left with a very unique piece of gear you can carry with you put it around your neck and you don't lose it and that way when you're camping or whatnot you can use that to start most of your fires as long as it's a you know sun sun's out <laughs> but the sun's out keep the fire going throughout the day if you need to but of course we all talk survival situations and being found and yada 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 and you don't want to be spotted and all that sort of thing but if you're just camping in the, in, and hiking and stuff like that this is a good little item to have so you don't waste all your butane while you're out there all right i hope this helps god bless take care